Hello and welcome to my humble lab. I've recently started playing around with a laser engraving machine and here's a couple of pieces that I just did. It's a lot of fun and one of the things I quickly learned was that you need to be able to cut wood and cut it accurately into squares or rectangles. So I was using a handsaw with really disastrous results. Now, that's why I decided to buy this, a circular saw. Now, I've never used one of these before, so I had no idea how to use it. So I decided to try and read the manual and see what I could glean from it and hope that I can help you with that information too. But one of the first things you'll want to do when you're setting up one of these is make sure there's no power source. This is a Craftsman. This is a 20-volt Craftsman. And it needs a separate uh, rechargeable battery. And this is a 20-volt uh, lithium-ion battery. So <clears throat> make sure that this is not connected with the saw when you're changing blades. You never want to have it powered when you're changing blades. And the purpose of today's video is to really show you how to change a blade on one of these, because I had no idea how I was going to do it. Now, what you'll notice <clears throat> with this, and a lot, of, a lot of these circular saws have reverse treaded screws, so in order to remove the screw, instead of turning it anti-clockwise, you actually have to turn it clockwise to remove it. And this is the screw that we need to remove to hold, uh, to be able to remove the uh, uh, holding washer. There's a washer here. And you'll notice the writing on the washer. See if you can read that. I don't know if you can see that, but it says this side out. So make sure that you have the washer, when you put the blade in, that you put the washer back in the correct direction with the marked side facing out. Now also your blade has two sides, and it took me a while to appreciate that, but the side that has the arrows faces out, the same as the markings on the washer. That's the inside of the blade and that's the outside of the blade. So this one is facing out. Now, one of the nice things about this Craftsman is it comes with its own tool that you need to remove the, and add new blades. So it comes with a little Allen key there. Now if you try and, um, if you try and remove that screw, the center is just gonna turn. So it's not gonna work. So you need to be able to lock the uh, the motor in order to remove the screw. And let me show how, how that's done. There's a little button here, and depending on what make or model of um, circular saw you have, this button will be in a different position. So if you press it in like that, now it's locked, see that? So now we put our Allen key in here, and you have to turn it clockwise because it's a reverse treaded screw, so let me do that. There you go. So I'm turning it clockwise to remove it. There we go. Now you take the washer out. There's the markings on the washer. This side out. Now let's try and get our blade in. Now you'll notice with these <coughs> circular saws, they come with a guard. They all have a guard on them. Because these things are notorious for causing injuries. So it doesn't have a guard, you probably don't even want to attempt to use it. It's just going to be too dangerous. Now let me show you how you add the blade in. So a good position to put it is really kind of like that. Kind of like, you know, so that you can access the, uh, the blade port easier. Move the guard out of the way. It's got, it's got some little areas where you can lever it. Slide your blade into the guard and this can be a little challenging um, because the guard is, is so uh, snug. Let's see if we can do that. So you want to slide it in like this. Slide it down. There you go. Now it's in. Now we need to add the washer. Make sure it's facing the right way before you add it. And it actually has a square to it. It's a rectangle in it. It's got a certain shape. So if you put it the wrong direction, like that or like that, it won't, it won't fit snug. So you want to 
make sure you've put it in right. Get your screw now. To screw the screw back in, normally you turn it clockwise. So in this case, we're going to have to turn it anti-clockwise. And when you tighten the screw, you don't want to make it super tight. Um, just, you know, some mild hand tightening. Now I need to get the button again to lock the motor. So let's do that. Here's my button. There you go, it's locked. Now, just a little bit of tightness, not major. Now, you want to make sure that your blade is sitting nice and snug, and it is. If it wasn't sitting snug, when you do this, you'd see it rocking backwards and forwards as you turned it and running into the plastic guard. So in this case, it's not doing that. So now we're ready to test it out. So before you use your battery, in this case a Craftsman battery, make sure it's charged. And then um, the battery has slots and it has a male end here and a female female end here. So just to, uh, to put it in, you just slide it right in like this. Watch this. There you go. Ready to run. Now, when you use these devices, you never want a, a hand that's free because that hand could potes, potentially get injured. You want both hands on the saw like this. So here's the um, unit with the battery added. And in order to unlock the blade and run it, you have to depress this lever here. It's got two on both sides. Let me just show you that. One there and one here. It doesn't matter which side. You could be left or right sided and still right handed or left handed and still use this. So you press it down and then press your... So it's working. Now, this is a piece of wood that I'm going to cut to um, make a engraving, a laser engraving. So I'm going to get it nice and tight in this vise. You want your wood secured. You do not want to be holding the wood with your hand. That's a recipe for trouble. Now, I'm going to cut it along this rough line here. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. And I'm actually going to use the vise as a kind of guide to keep everything straight. So here it goes. cutting butter and it way beats what I was doing before with a hand saw so another piece of wood for some laser engraving the saw works now when I store these saws I never store them with the battery inside just in case a child or an unsuspecting person gets hold of it and plays with it I always take the battery out and keep it separate from the saw and that way you don't have to worry about someone ending up cutting their hand or fingers. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to check back. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a like and a thumbs up.